looking at these children and youth that are part of the child welfare system. Only three to four percent are attending college, 50 percent of them don't get a GED or diploma. How do we break the cycle in these children's lives? It's education. We begin to educate them, that begins to change the trajectory of their life. My name's Ed, this is my wife Laura. We are the prop parents of Lily and her brother and two sisters. Lily came into our care almost five years ago. She's one of a kind, <laughs> she, <laughs> she is Lily. That's about the only <laughs> way we can say it. The clicker just disappeared. With foster care children in the state of Indiana, preventative care is key. We work with a lot of social service agencies around the country. They do not have the budgets to provide the intensive tutoring hours, and that's really critical. About three years ago, Anthem decided to take a deep look at the value-added benefits that we offer our members in the child welfare system. Manny gave our team permission to really explore that. He said, think outside the box. There's no wrong answer. Most of the youth that are in the child welfare system have experienced some sort of trauma, and that can be emotional or physical. Trauma affects the brain, and emotional trauma especially can affect learning. At Anthem, we strongly believe that the social determinants of health are key drivers for the individual's total health. We understand that education is paramount for the future of these children's lives. We have to meet those needs. And as we meet those needs, an individual's overall health care gets better. When I received an email from Marie at Anthem, for the first time ever, a health insurance company was introducing themselves to us to collaborate as far as assessments, supplies, extra hours for tutoring. They give the children whatever they need. We needed someone who could scale with us, but also more importantly, who understood foster care. And Lisa Russell and ETS, that team has that, that passion, that drive, that mission around helping children and youth in the child welfare system. Lily has been prioritized because she has some learning disabilities and it was determined that she needed four hours per week of tutoring. I've been working with Lily for about five months and in that time I've seen her go from the early third grade level to a fourth grade level now and moving on. One of the great things about this tutoring situation is that the tutors come to the home. A lot of our families do not have adequate transportation, so they appreciate the convenience. And also, we start building a relationship with the foster parent and the adoptive parent, as well as the child. Mr. Piner quickly identified that Lily was a tactile learner. See if you can put him somewhere. Very good. She has a hard time sitting and just focusing on one subject. Mr. Piner is very, very patient with her. Very, very patient. He approaches learning in a fun way. If she's going to learn, I've got to be on top of my game. What is this in the middle here? Tell me that. Venn diagram. Venn diagram. She's interested in science. She loves science experiments. Look what I brought. Yay! When I see the light bulb go on with Lily, or I see the excitement she has, that makes it worthwhile. So let's see if we can figure this out. These families are taking on additional responsibility. They're bringing children into their home, and many don't have the financial ability to pay for a tutoring program. We just think it's awesome that Anthem has this program. Tutoring would be something that we would not be able to afford. Lily is one of the lucky children. There are still children that are slipping through the cracks, and we are not doing them justice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe we can effectively not only help more kids, but replicate this wonderful model we have in other states that Anthem supports. It's extremely important to us to meet those needs and come alongside those families and fill in the gaps where we can, when we can. Where did I put this one? Right here. It's gonna allow her to do better in school, eventually get into college, and just have a better quality of life. Now she's open with her answers. She's paying attention to what's going on. She embraces learning. You ready to do it? <laughs> All right, let's go. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a scientist, work really hard, and then go to college, and then probably get married. 
we saw this little girl just brighten and come alive. Anthem is committed to these families, is committed to these states that we work in. The work we put into creating this program is really making a difference for our members. We set out to meet a need and the results speak for themselves. All right, you ready? There's nothing wrong with this kid. Is it? She's got the whole world in front of her. Go.